Hello. Hi. Time for math. So we're working on subtraction. And let's see if you can remember the name of the strategy that we're working on. Okay, right here. See if this picture, picture can help you. Last um, week we were doing use a picture and we just started this new one. It's use counters and we are practicing using counters today for math we'll be using counters and i think there's something that you'll like so you'll have to decide which kind of counters you use at your house so you'll have to see what kind of materials you have available and um, decide which ones you'd like to use i thought it would be fun to use legos as my counters so I have some Legos here, ready to go. So I want you, if you haven't already found something, to pause the screen and please go find about 20 like, small blocks, 20 Legos, 20 of something that you can use to be your counter for today. Okay? Okay, I think we're all set to go now. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You are going to build things and then subtract pieces and write equations. So step number one, and I'll write my, the steps right on the board so you can see them like we often do at school. I'm gonna move this over here to the side. Okay, so step number one is, step one, build, something. Okay, so I'm going to write build. So since I'm using Legos, I'm going to use my Legos to build something. And now you're going to have a choice to make. I want you to challenge yourself. So if three blocks is too easy for you, would you build something with three blocks? No, no. If 20 blocks is too hard for you, would you build something with 20? You wanna find just the right challenge. So think about how many blocks would be the right challenge for you and I want you to use that many. I'm just gonna keep my picture simple here with three, but I don't expect that you'll use three blocks, okay? So choose the right number. So build something with your Legos, build something with your blocks. The next step, well actually, yeah, let's do this. The next step is to record. Okay, so if I build something with eight Legos, I'm going to record that right here. So I'm going to record my first number, which actually instead of showing it like this, let me show it like this. It's the whole, okay? So record, use your pencil. to record the whole, okay? Record, build, record. Step number three, I'm gonna draw a subtraction sign, okay? Step number three, take away. So you're going, I'm gonna actually just move this out of the way, okay? Step number three is take away. So if this is my block structure or my Legos or whatever I built with, okay, I'm going to take some away. Maybe I'll choose to take away this many. Take them away, okay? Step number four is to record. So we should have recorded the whole before. Now we're gonna record the take away. We're taking some away. And the part, okay? So record right here. How many are you taking away? Okay, the next step, number five, is <clears throat> to count. I'll write the word first. Count. 
how many are left. So you're going to use your pencil for this one too. Okay. So count. Count. Count how many are left. And then your final step is to finish the subtraction equation. and fill in the difference. What is the answer? How many are left? Okay, those are the steps. So if you need to, you can come back to this page. I'll also take a picture of this and put it just on the um, newsletter so you can see these steps written out. But let's go through one together. So I have some Legos out here and you can just build something with them if you want to. I'm going to just build, I'll, I'll surprise you okay with what I build. I'm going to build something here and I'm going to do something pretty quick, but you, you decide what it is that you want to build with yours. Okay. And then you'll have to know how many Legos or how many blocks it is that you had to start out with. So you'll have to be able to count them. Okay, so here we go. I just built this kind of design type structure. Okay, so the first step was build. So I did that. Step number two is to record. And I um, didn't tell you this, but you're going to use your whiteboard to do this work. Okay, so record on your whiteboard the whole. That means how many we're starting out with. So let's go ahead and count here. And why don't you use your whiteboard right now to work along with me as we do this one. So we'll have practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I started out with a 12. A just right number for me. Okay, so let's start with our whole, okay? Remember whole minus part equals part. So my 12 comes first. That'll be my biggest number, 12. And I'm gonna go ahead and get ready with my takeaway sign for whatever comes next, okay? 12, remember 12 is a one and a two, 12 minus. Let's see what comes next. Okay, so then you're gonna decide to take some away. Think about how many you want to take away. I'm going to take this many away. Okay, so I'm taking this many away. So you'll need to count and record how many you take away. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm taking away four. Now I need to record that on my board. Twelve minus four. I'm going to go ahead and get that equal sign ready for myself. <clears throat> 12 minus 4. Now I have to count how many are left in my original structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait a minute. I don't know if I counted. Okay, I'm going to count again. I'm not sure if I counted them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so it's 8. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Remember an 8? Make an S. And close the gate. 12 minus 4 equals 8. So you should always read your equation after you write it just to get some practice with that. Okay, so I want you to do this. You can set a timer. Why don't you work for about 20 minutes? Okay, see how many equations, how many times you can do it. And I suggest starting out with a certain number of blocks, but then after you do a couple, change your whole. Either add or take away blocks from your whole so you're working with another number. So instead of 12 take away different things, maybe I'd have 14 take away different items. Or maybe I'd have 10 take away different items. Okay, you've got this. Have fun with it.